As you can see, I really like cookbooks. I don't know what I like more. The photography, the stories, the recipes themselves. I just really like them. However, some of the best recipes don't come from cookbooks. They come from little torn pieces of paper like this. Passed on from generation to generation or from friend to friend. I got this one from my mom, who got it from her friend who's from Lafayette. This shrimp etouffee recipe is one of my favorites. Let's make it. To make shrimp etouffee, you'll need one and a half sticks of butter, which equals six ounces or 170 grams, two diced ribs of celery, one diced green bell pepper, two diced onions, these are yellow onions, but use whatever one you like, four cloves of garlic, six tablespoons or 50 grams of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons or 20 grams of paprika, salt to taste, Creole seasoning to taste. I like this brand. Find whatever one you can at the store and just use that one. Four bouillon cubes or four teaspoons or 24 grams of better than bouillon. I like better than bouillon over cubes, but if you can't get better than bouillon, cubes work fine. Four cups of water and two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp. Start cooking by melting your butter over medium heat. Once that gets nice and hot, go ahead and add your onions, bell pepper, and celery. Cook the vegetables over medium heat for about five to 10 minutes. Take your time here, the onions have a tendency to burn. So continue stirring, cooking over medium, until the vegetables are nice and soft and translucent. Once I reach that stage, add in your minced garlic and cook that for about one to two minutes. After that, add in your flour. We're going to be making a blonde roux. Typically when making a roux, the flour is added at the beginning with the butter, but we want our vegetables to be nice and soft. So we're adding the flour now. Constantly stir until you see the flour turn a nice golden brown color. Once you reach that stage, add in about a cup of the water and then stir. Stir that together and the mixture will become very thick and sticky. Once this happens, add in another cup of water. Stir some more, trying to remove all the clumps of flour. Add in the rest of the water and then stir and mix until the mixture is smooth. Once smooth, add in the paprika and whisk until well combined. If three tablespoons of paprika seems like too much, add in half and then taste and see what you think. But I think it adds a really nice deep red color as well as a very distinct, strong flavor to the dish. Add in your bouillon and then whisk together and then season with Creole seasoning. Simmer for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. After 20 minutes, taste for seasoning. I added in more salt, Creole seasoning, as well as a little bit more of better than bouillon. But you taste yours and see what you like. Now go to the fridge and get out the shrimp and it's time to add the shrimp to the dish. Set your stove top to low to medium low and gently simmer the shrimp. You're going for more of a poach here rather than a boil because the shrimp can easily overcook. How long it takes to cook the shrimp is dependent on the size of the shrimp and how hot your pot is. After five minutes, check the shrimp. You're looking for the shrimp to take on a pink color, a firm texture, and they're starting to curl. If you don't think they're quite done yet, simmer for another five minutes and then check again. Once the shrimp are done, taste one more time and season. Serve with rice, add a little green onion, and it's time to dig in. And if you're anything like me, 
the dish isn't done without a generous dousing of the Louisiana hot sauce. And there you have it, shrimp etouffee, one of my favorite dishes. You can actually use this exact same recipe to make crawfish etouffee. Just switch out the shrimp for crawfish. On a personal note, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's encouraged me to get back and make more videos. Especially Chef John Pierre and everyone who came from his channel. Just thank you so much. This was a quarantine passion project that I kind of put to the side and wasn't planning on starting back up. But your encouragement means a lot. And I look forward to making more videos very soon. If this is your type of thing, please like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.